What is up everyone, it's me with ADHD and today I want to talk about the fact that we could have a new non-drug treatment for ADHD. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so it turns out that the FDA has approved a new treatment for ADHD that's non-drug related. It actually is a device that would be used to treat ADHD. This is cool because it's the first ever device of its kind that would help with ADHD. The company behind this device are called NeuroSigma and the device itself is called the Monarch External Trigaminal Nerve Stimulant which is quite the mouthful, ETNS for short. It's a prescription only treatment and it's to be worn at night and it delivers small electrical pulses to the parts of the brain that are affected by ADHD. Right now it's only being approved though for children aged seven to 12 who have not had any other treatment for ADHD in the past. But in a trial of 62 children, it turns out that the children that use this device showed significant improvement in their ADHD symptoms especially compared to the children who only had the placebo well that's great but what exactly did the FDA say about this thing they said that this device offers a safe non-drug related option for treatment for those of ADHD through the use of mild stimulation of the nerves and it's the first of its kind well there you go so looking at this thing it's like real small with a screen on it it looks almost exactly like the original Game Boy except it has this crazy wires attached to it with a patch and that patch uh, attaches to your forehead when you go to sleep and then that's when it stimulates your brain throughout the night. Looking at that patch it totally reminds me of when you go to the chiropractor and they put those electric pulses on your back except hopefully this isn't as intense as that. In fact I hear this is more of a mild tingling sensation on your forehead. So I think this is pretty cool, don't you? I mean, I love the fact that people are still looking into ways to help treat ADHD. It feels like we're not the forgotten people. You're just given stimulants and then that's that, they're done. So if this is a new treatment that works, that doesn't need drug stimulation, then that's real great. That's amazing for people. And by the way, this device isn't brand new. It's already being used to treat PTSD, depression, epilepsy. It's been approved in Europe and it's got shockingly good results from it. Now, like I said before, for ADHD, it's only being approved for treatment with children aged seven to 12 that haven't ever touched ADHD medication, I think. So I wonder if that's because uh, it's harder to get results, I guess, from people that are older that have had symptoms for a long time, or maybe that have had medication in their system for a long time. It could possibly be that adults, it's harder to kind of monitor them with their use of like caffeine and alcohol and stuff. I wonder if that's the reason why it's there now, but I'm assuming that once that they get the positive results from that, then it'll be released to be used for adults as well. And honestly, speaking about the clinical trials that they did, I would much rather see them do clinical trials that put this device up against ADHD medication like stimulants. That's the real test to me is whether or not it stands up to current treatments and how well it works. And I also wonder a little bit about the long-term effects of this treatment as well. I mean like, how long do you have to wear it for for it to work for an entire day? And do you have to keep wearing it for the rest of your life or do you wear it for a certain amount of time and then it effectively treats the ADHD to the point where you don't need to wear it anymore? And if you do have to wear it every night for the rest of your life, what are the long-term effects of constantly sending electronical pulses to your brain every single night for the rest of your life. I mean, I know that it's not that strong of a pulse, but still. Now, I'm sure all of these answers are gonna come in time, but I think honestly that I'm actually pretty stoked about this. I think that it's a really cool idea and it seems to have had positive results in other areas of mental health, which is amazing. And I just, I'm such an advocate for trying new things for ADHD and helping with treatments and the fact that there's still all these advancements in the medical field that are also helping with ADHD. So what do you guys think of it? Do you think that you would let your children use it? Would you try it yourself? 
Do you think that it'll have any long-term effects? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Like the video if you did. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, stay up to date with all my new content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.